Oh, you had a good time, huh? I did. It was a lot of fun. I mean, you know, a guy like me, invited to parties like that, it was, it was pretty spectacular. i got to tell you, something I'll never forget. Well, one thing about going to the parties in, in your life, and also just showing up in your life, is to understand some of the survival tricks that you all have learned, the veterans of red carpets have learned out I, there. I think it's, there's so much pressure now on what to wear. And in a way, I don't necessarily think that's a good thing, but still, it is there because we all know it's going to be talked about the next day. Um, <laughs> so things that I do, just to get ready and, yeah. and know that I'm going to feel comfortable in my clothes, one is I always take pictures of, I have somebody, like a stylist or my kid even, take a picture of me in the outfit but without my head showing because so many times we look at our face and we judge oh we like the dress if our face looks good or we don't like the dress if our face doesn't look good yes. but if you just try to chop off your head and you can just be very objective about the, the dress does this so look good that is really yes if you're going to bulge you ought to see it right yeah and you just can go does this look good or not and always check the back too we know that and check it. sitting down well I like to check sitting down because a lot of times you stand in a dress and it looks great and then you sit down and all of a sudden the straps are too loose and you're, wor you're t all night you're tucking in, and then you're not oh, comfortable. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I have um, that problem right now. I'm sitting here <laughs> with my arms oh, actually like working. All the bones sticking out here, and I didn't think about it. You know, yeah, I wore it to the health and right. party. So, and here it. I am sitting with it like this. When I'm standing up, it's fine, but I sit yeah. down. And it's just, if you're going to be sitting in it, you better check the it. The and also, double stick tape. Oh, double stick tape. I have some right here. Yeah. Um, Where all do you use it? Uh, well, <laughs> wherever it you need it, darling. You put it. You it, you know, it's really, if you, especially if you have something where you don't want to have a wardrobe malfunction, uh -huh. toupee tape to keep it, you know, your bra strap in place or to keep things closed. You um, also have some sponges over there. What do well, they do? Well, I don't know if you guys have this problem. You're wearing white. All not of me. You. You're not. And I you, don't mind. Yeah, not so much. Is, what, what, what deodorant is sponges you No, if about. you have deodorant, once you get dressed, and I don't care even if a deodorant says that it's invisible, mm. a lot of times you get your dress on so true. and there's deodorant mm -hmm. on it. And so you have to check. And I found these little sponges, they're called Gal Pals. And it's hard to get, you know, if you use something white and you're wearing a dark dress, it will get white fuzz on your dress. These don't leave any residue on your dress, but they help get the deodorant. Another really good thing are baby wipes. Well, yeah, yeah, well, well, some well, fabric, everything but on off. some yeah. fabric, they can yeah. be tricky. I'm feeling I mean, very lucky me, to be a man right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> I have to say, on the carpet, I think the thing I would notice but is invisible more than anything is magic knickers. You know, and things that are going to suck in a woman's tummy. Are those like the spanks? The, the yeah, exactly. And there's spanks. so many. And a trick I always do is if I forget them at home, a lot of people who are slightly pear shaped like that, so just walk and clench. Clench your buttocks, okay? And you clench your buttocks oh, and you get rid of your saddlebags. Like but it's a way to do it. You've got, because you're so aware, you know, it was like when Tilda Swinton said in your interview about the pot belly on the training, on the running mm -hmm. machine. And it's like that's the thing most women are aware of. All right. So <laughs> do it headless, sit down in it, pick <laughs> yourself up and walk and clench. How does the net have a great And time look relaxed doing it. Yeah, <laughs> doing it. They like it took no Or just put on a tuxedo. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's why maybe Tilda Swinton had it right with that, because she said it was like pajamas for dress. So. That's true. She did That's look comfortable. True. She could eat. Thanks, <laughs> thanks everybody.